Hi there! Today I'm going to show you a very special project I have been working on and it has come to realization recently. So basically what I did, as you can see on this picture, I have created a small IP camera. And the interesting part in this camera is that it's uh, powered by a Raspberry Pi. So every component uh, is actually kind of cheap because I uh, wanted a cheap solution, cheaper than the dedicated hardware on the market. And uh, in the front, if we check this uh, camera, we can see a small 5 megapixel Raspberry Pi camera and a motion sensor. And inside is a Raspberry Pi Model A from back in 2015. And, uh, I had doubts at first about the strength of this uh, project, but uh, after that uh, using it, I noticed that uh, it's uh, kind of powerful enough and even more. And uh, the extra is that I don't have any Ethernet cables which connect to the Raspberry Pi because it has only one USB module. So I have found uh, cheap uh, nano USB stick, which is a Wi-Fi stick, and with that uh, stick uh, I connect this P to my router. So basically the images after the day is gone uh, are transferred uh, to my NASH with the date of a specific day on which they were taken. So. I'm going to show you how to write a similar script which has uh, almost the same functionality. And the interesting part about it is that uh, it cannot uh, see in the night. So I had to find a solution to take pictures only when there is enough light to capture anything. And uh, the pictures are taken whenever motion is detected. So yeah, let's get to it. For this, I'm going to need four of the Python, Python modules, which are uh, available. <coughs> let's get to it. So the first one is the requests module. The second is the JSON module. The third one is the datetime module. And the fourth one is the OSH module. I'm going to need a function which is called Chroma. It is going to take a message and all it does is it's going to open the Chrome tab of the specific user uh, which we want to modify. By the way, the Chrome tabs are used uh, to perform scheduled operations on a Linux device. So this means that we can say in a Chrome tab to do this and that specific ta ta task at a given hour, on a given day, or with some kind of frequency. And this can be found on the war spool, cron, cron tab, and the actual username. And uh, what needs to be done, it needs to be specified that uh, whenever this file is open, it should be done with the write switch, which means that everything we write uh, with this session is going to override the previous contents. This is uh, going to be good, and I, later I will reveal why. All I will do is write this message and then close this file. <coughs> In order to get the time, uh, or the sunrise and the sunset, I have found a um, public API which is going to tell me based on the GPS coordinates I specify when the sun will rise and when it will set. So this will be a good starting point. The only hiccup is that it doesn't include the daylight savings, which means that uh, if you're clock is forward or backwards with one hour to the daylight savings, you need to adjust the script. So what we will do is create a 
temporary variable, which is at first none. And after that, we will try to fill this variable with the response from this URL https api.sunrise sunset.org and after that we specify that we want the JSON output from this latitude 47.4979 and this longitude Cheat a bit 19.04.02 and the date is going to be today. <coughs> Otherwise, if this fails because the site is unavailable, I will going to stop the execution of the script. So let me show you what I mean by this. Python import request uh, it is taking some time and I will say I would like to execute this query so what we see here is that the web server responded with the 200 status code which is uh, which has the meaning of success so it replied to our request with something which is other than wrong and i'm going to save this in the variable <laughs> and after that if i want to see the content of this reply all I have to do is check the text attribute and what we can see here is that we have a JSON reply as we specified in the query and uh, it has a key of results with the values of a key and value pair and what we are interested in is that the sunrise key and the sunset key and what it holds so <laughs> after that I will say that if the times variable has any value then I'm going to need to process it. And how do I process this JSON format? This is where the JSON module comes into picture. So what I need to do is specify sunrise and the sunset. <coughs> and I'm going to try to pull the value The JSON load uh, function takes a text or string type of input and it is trying to parse it to be a valid JSON um, data structure. And if it succeeds, then I'm going to have the desired values. If it not, then I cannot do anything. And I'm going to have to abort the execution. Sunset. Okay. Except I'm going to let the user know that I could not parse the JSON. So the exit is aborted. Okay, so after this, let me show you what we have here in our 
variables. For this, I'm going to load the JSON. <coughs> and ta -da! the sunrise has this value, and sunset is going to have this value. So, what we are interested in now is that what is the value of the hour and the minute because that's how I uh, want my cron jobs to be scheduled <coughs> so I'm going to need to pull out those values and I'm going to do this by trying the following sunrise hour sunrise minute Sunset hour, sunset minute. But how do I get the hour from there? What I want to do is split this string by the double column and get the first. Hoppa the first uh, item of this array because when you split a string by a specific character it is going to create an array of the results and for the minute I would do the same and also oh no this is going to be okay So, equals to summarize dot split equals summarize dot split equals sunset dot split equals sunset dot split. Yeah. Otherwise. If it tries to split it and it does not have an uh, index which I want to get, it will raise an error, an index error, and this means that the output from the JSON file may have changed or the format of those, that uh, string is not what it expected to be. So I will say that there is something wrong with the format reporting okay so after that what I need to do is try to overwrite the cron tab with the specific script paths and the dates and the times so what I am going to do is create a variable which is the message and I'm going to say that I would like to add the pass to the cron tab this is necessary because if you want to run a script which is uh, using uh, non-standard paths, then uh, it will fail to execute from the scheduled job if you don't specify the pass. User bin and the home, the username, the scripts, and a new line character and after that I would like to append to this message the path for the script I have this is called surveillance.py and this is going to look like some look something like this so I'm going to have two variables the first one is the minute 
and the second one is the Java. And what I want to do is run this script. every day <coughs> on every week of every month and the script is going to use the python shell and run from the username scripts survey push the variable value sunrise minute and sunrise hour here. And I have another script which is going to kill this Python script which is running the camera. And this is going to be very similar but this will have the sunset minute and the sun set hour here and what I would like to do is I would like to add two hours plus for this to execute because uh, you have a 24 hour format in your cron tabs so let's say the script from the API return that it's 2 a.m. as the sun goes down. So I, if I give it uh, 12 hours, then it's going to be uh, 24 a.m. We don't uh, calculate with the a.m. So we have the 24, uh, so sorry, 14. And uh, after that, I would like to leave two plus hours for that. So I'm going to uh, convert the sunset hour into an integer and give it 14 yeah okay and let's not forget about the new line characters okay the most important thing when you edit the cron tab like this is to make sure that the last character which you insert is the new line character otherwise the service will fail to parse the configuration file and it will not schedule the task tasks uh, as you would expect it okay and uh, yeah this is okay what we are going to do now, as we have this message, is that uh, we are going to try to give it to the Kroner script, Kroner function, as it is, except So there are two ways this can go. The first one is it will be able to overwrite the cron tab of the given user. The second way is that uh, it will fail because of privilege problems. I don't want this to run as root because there is no need for that. And uh, I mean the surveillance. Kill survey but as H. <clears throat> so I don't want it to run the surveillance script as root. I want it to run as a standard user, but I need to have privileges. So this cron uh, modifier script is going to run from the root user. So it will have the right privileges to edit the cron tab of the given user. Okay, and after this is done, what I need to do, and here comes the OS module, I need to install the new cron tab, which was freshly edited to the user, and this is done by the following command, cron tab, minus u, 
username and the pass for the cron tab. If you don't do this, don't expect it to run at all. I mean, it will run with the previously read configuration, but if you edit it afterwards and don't uh, either restart your Pi or restart this uh, session for the current app, it will not uh, pick up the changes. So this is why it is needed. Okay, so basically this is what powers the surveillance. At first I have this uh, kill surveillance that sh. It is not the best solution, but I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, you see? That so, the kill surveillance that I see looks something like this. So it is told that this is a bash function, bash script in bash, and all it does is going to kill every process which has the Python name in it. So this is not that much of a deal. And yes, so this is what I wanted to show you. I'm going to link the description uh, link the github link uh, for the scripts in the description and if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thank you for watching